There's a crack in the lower frame rail. There. Okay. And could you please give it a shot of paint after you weld that? Okay. Who's it for, G? It's Mr. Barnett's. Mr. Barnett's. Uh, I don't know any Barnett's. Are they new around here? No. Okay. Hey, Stick. Hey, Jenny. What's up? Is the generator ready for Mr. Barnett? Just finished. Good, because he's going to be here in 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, who is he? He's a farmer from just south of the lake. Has he ever been into the shop before? The first time I saw him was when he brought the generator in. But he may have come in once before, before I started. You'll have to ask G. Well, I kind of did, but getting anything out of him is harder than milking a hammer. You say some of the strangest things stick. Maybe, but G doesn't say anything at all. Well, if he says more than three words, it means he thinks he talks too much. But if he says more than three sentences, he's probably drunk. <laughs> That'd be something to see. Does he drink a lot? He never said more than three sentences. Jenny, you and G say a lot stranger stuff than me. How come you're only open three days a week, G? I'm retired. Well, how can you be retired? You're still working. I like to keep busy. Oh, well, when did you retire? When I turned 65. How old are you now, G? 72. <laughs> That's older than my grandpa. How old's the shop, G? Older than me. Like a hundred? Like one hundred. When did you buy it? I didn't. Oh, so you rent it? No. Come on, G, give me a clue. I inherited it. Oh! From your dad? No. From my mom. Where's G? Oh, he went inside the house. Does he ever get mad? I've never seen him get mad, but I suppose he does. I would hate to see him get mad. Uh-huh. Like when you're not doing what you're supposed to, it just gives you a look. Did you do something wrong? Well, not this morning, but I was asking G some questions and I got the look. Uh, I hope you stopped asking questions. Damn straight, because when G gives you a look, it sends a chill up your spine like someone just shoved a three foot icicle up your bum. Really stick. Your analogies are sometimes enough to kill my appetite. Sorry, Jenny. Hey, G, did you find any treasures in the shop this morning? Just some old stuff that needs to be thrown out. And a ding dong for a duck's butt. Really stick. What? G didn't know what it was, so I showed him. Oh, did you want to see too? No, no, that's fine. I don't want to see anything that's associated with a butt. Well, if you ever see one, you're not going to know what it was. And as the saying goes, ignorance is bliss. Yes, but if you didn't know what a dog turd was, you would probably step in it. Really stick. I'm trying to eat. Sorry. The garbage bag had a power poop. Did 
you get these bags from Wally World, G? I haven't had any problems with them. Well, this one opened up like a coffin out of wake. Do you think you put too much in it? I don't think I put too much in it. <laughs> can't weld aluminum, Ernie. I'm sorry. So you can't fix it. He's real quiet, huh, Ernie? He always has been. <laughs> Know him a long time? Yes, sir. For many years. Was he ever married? He was, twice. However, I think you shouldn't ask him about that. Yeah. I kind of got the hint this morning that he doesn't like talking about himself. I'm glad you did. That may save you some grief. We can split this pipe and make a collar to fit over the frame. Thank you, G. You're welcome. Stick, I will draw out what you need to do. You shouldn't have a problem. Okay, G. Thanks, G. G said he inherited this place. How long has it been here? Three or four years. I don't remember exactly, but it was a couple years after he retired and sold his shop in town. G had another shop? Yes. Do you know where Henderson's Customs is? G owned the speed shop? It wasn't one when he owned it. It was just another repair place. They did everything except bodywork. He never said. He doesn't talk much. About as much as a headless mummy. A bit of an exaggeration. I know. I just, I like him. I just wish he would talk more. And avoid his personal life. Yeah, like I avoid public restrooms. <laughs> yeah. I, I can tell you a little bit about G. He had the shop in town for 30 years and sold it when he turned 65. Like seven years ago? Yeah, seven years. Wow, I was only nine. His dad died a year after that and his mom moved into a senior's place. Well, why didn't she just stay here? She was very old, Stick. In her late 80s. Holy. So... So this place sat empty for a year. Then his mother died. Are you sad to lose your mom, I bet. It is. Then G spent a year settling the estate, cleaning this place up, and renovating the inside of the house. Should have fixed up the outside. I know. A little bit rough, but I don't think he's interested. It looks spooky, man. When I first came to see about the job, I was scared I was going to end up like a side of beef in his freezer. No, nobody lived here for two years. G had everything in order. Sold his house in town, moved into this place, and set up shop. I'm surprised he wanted to work again after doing nothing for so long. He didn't do nothing, Stick. He spent the first year of his retirement traveling. Then, busy with his mom and working his butt off on this place. Think he'd talk about the places he went? I don't think so. I think it just made him lonely. Really? I'd love to travel. I've only been to the coast once. Well, now you know a bit about G. And you also know where you shouldn't stick your nose. Yeah, I got it. Thanks, Ernie. You know, he really admires you, G. And he respects you. Some people of the last two generations don't do neither of these things for anyone, not even themselves. 
I'm inclined to agree. Oh, oh gee. Gee, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. <gasps> Didn't you test those wires? First I tested the tester. Then I tested the wires and they had power. I shut off the power. I retested the wires. Nothing showed. Well, what do you think happened? I don't know. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Please, please sit down. Hey, G. Number two breaker just blew. I didn't know it was on it, so I didn't reset it. Trader's on that circuit, so please leave it off. Sure. Well, what you working on? Can you please take this, put a new battery in it, bring it right back? You got it. Thank you. <laughs> and he thinks you're cool. Well, I tested the new battery with the tester and it works. And I also tested the old battery, so close to dead that there's a hearse in the driveway. Thank you. Don't go away. Oh, yes, you have to go away. If you want to go reset that breaker for me, please. For sure. Thank you. Power's on, G. Thank you. Now don't go away. Which isn't breaking the circuit. Is that where the breaker tripped? No. Well, why did the breaker trip, G? I touched a wire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did you get electro ugly? Yes. Oh, I, I'm sorry, G. Here you go, stick. Hey, thanks, Jenny. Thanks, G. You're welcome. So, can you fix it? Yes. Well, what's wrong with it? Someone installed the wrong switch type. <laughs> Do you have a right one? No. You're driving me crazy, G. I have to buy a switch, install it properly, and eliminate some wire. And you're gonna do that all tonight? No. I will do it on Monday. Good night. Have a great week, Stick. <laughs> oh, do you notice how we emulate you? I can't think of a reason for it. Really, G? You never raise your voice. You're polite and you're so patient when you show him things. And even when he does something wrong, you never berate him. You show him how to do it right. Is it any wonder that he wants to be just like you? I just hope that he doesn't become as tight lipped. Because I would really miss his funny sayings. And I would especially miss his twisted sense of humor.